My name is Ship Returner. Southampton is Labour's only parliamentary power base in the South, and this gives the city's two seats huge national importance. Wins here would see David Cameron well on the way to an overall majority. Labour took the Southampton Inchon seat with a 48% majority in the 2005 general election, but in 2010 that figure fell to 36.8, with the Tories securing 36.3% of the vote. The city has Labour values. This seat could be one of the most closely contested in the country, as Royston Smith faces a tough fight to take the seat from rising Labour star Rowena Davis. So I think we've heard enough. I think the public will heard enough. I'm feeling very, very confident and optimistic. And I'm optimistic that that will be enough to secure us a majority Conservative government next time. 75,000 people will be able to vote here in this year's elections, and there are six parties for them to choose from. Honestly, say that with 65% of the Labour vote are hemorrhaging towards UKIP. There will be um, a group of people who have who want to vote on principle, who've got particular values that they want to uh, express at the ballot box, and it's only right that they should be able to do that. Got a lot of things that need to be done in Inchin, so I think it needs to be a green vote to get all these things tackled. Tusk up and down the country is uh, providing a voice for people who want to see a real change in our society. This hotly contested seat may once again be decided by very few votes. Emma Wright, Winchester News Online, Southampton Itchin.